What's up, everybody? It's your boy Trayvon here with Scent Talk TV. Thank you so much for joining me here today. And as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. I really do appreciate all the love and all the support that you guys give, all the comments, leave them down below with your, uh, your concerns, your experiences, and any type of uh, questions that you need to ask, I'll be ha happy to answer those. Thank you so much for that. And my subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing. You are great. But without further ado, let's jump into this review or first impression. Okay, today I'm gonna be doing a first impression on a new 2022 release and my first 2022 purchase. And it's from the Houch of Gucci. This is Gucci Guilty Parfum. Finally got my hands on it. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and I finally got a chance to pick this up and review it for you guys. Here's the box. Your standard Gucci Guilty Parfum box. Size and concentration here at the bottom. You have your batch code right here. Mine is, I think two, no, 1224. QR code at the bottom. Nothing on the top, nothing on the sides. And you got the ingredients on the back. Here's the bottle. Sticker with the size and concentration right there. And the same on the back, same thing. Snug fit at the top. Atomize this is all right. Needs a little bit of work, but it's okay. Spraying it in the air. Very fresh, fruity, powdery at the same time. And it's sweet too. So let me uh, spray this on skin. Right off the top, that's what I get in the air. Hmm. It's very citrus and powdery up top. It's sweet. It's sweet and it has like this earthy, piney type of uh, smell in the opening. It smells pretty good. It's not wowing me, but it smells good though. Initially, let me get a let me give it a minute to let it dry down a little bit. It does have that little oil sheen right there. By being a parfum, that's what you want to look for. Got more uh, parfum that's more highly concentrated oil. So if you see that sheen, that's great. I got the notes right here in front of me. The top notes is juniper. Lemon, lavender, mid notes is nutmeg, orange blossom, Spanish lavender. And in the base, you got that patchouli dry wood and musk. So as it's starting to dry down, that nutmeg is starting to creep in. The lemon is starting to fade away fast. That citrus note of the, lim of the lemon is starting to fade a little bit. That nutmeg and that orange blossom is starting to creep. Now, the orange blossom is giving it like a sweet masculine white floral note. So, but it's starting to mix in well with the lavender as it dries down. The, the lemon is kind of fading away quite fast. But that nutmeg, that sweet uh, resins from the nutmeg, this is more sweet, fresh, spicy, creamy at the same, kind of creamy. It's kind of, it's kind of like an earthy creaminess. It has that dark sweet patchouli in here. Give it a little bit of earthiness. It's woody at the same time. The musk doesn't really give it a too much of an atomic vibe. But overall, so far, what I'm getting out of it is a, a sweet citrus with a little bit of powderiness to it. Now, I can't, I don't have the EDP of Gucci Guilty, but I do, I did smell it. It's like a, it's like a green herbal sea, uh, salty, like a sea salty version of Perone. Now, I can't compare these two now. I can compare these two. Just give me a moment. This is more, it's more fresher. A little bit more citry. Not citry. It's more citrus. It's more, it's creamy. It's more green fresh and spicy. The Parfum is more of a richer version than this. Now that I'm going back to it, you get a dry, 
earthy, sweet, spice creaminess to this. It's, kind of, it's like re very masculine, very earthy. I don't know what the performance is, obviously, first impression, so I will be giving this a little bit of a good wearing to uh, get the performance and the sillage and all that. So far, I like it. I'm not blown away though. I'm not blown away, but I do like it. Yeah, so far, sweet, little bit of citrus in the background. It's powdery, it's creamy to my nose. It's very masculine. It's very masculine with that patchouli and that uh, that musk. And it's had a tiny bit of woodiness as it dries down. But I do dig this a lot. But let's see what that performance is about. That's the key. In my opinion, performance matters a lot, especially if it's a parfum. Now, you're probably not gonna get a lot of projection by it being a, a parfum because the oils in, there, oils in here is heavy. So it doesn't have a lot of alcohol in here. When I first sprayed it, I barely smelled any alcohol. So that's a good thing. It's living up to the concentration of its name, parfum. Also, it has a little small hint of white masculine florals from that orange blossom. Compared to these two, very different, very different. Slightly similar, similar, but they are very different from each other. Except for, you know, this is more rich. This is more of a rich masculine version than this. This is more fresh, clean, kind of semi-soapy. These do share similarities, but they are very different at the same time. This is more fresher. This is more rich, uh, sweet, and masculine. So I will be back with a full review of this. Gucci Guilty Per Own Parfum or Parfum Per Own, what have you. I will be back with a full review and I can't wait. And hopefully the performance is up to par with what I think it should be. So that's all that I got for this first impression, ladies and gentlemen. Trayvon here with Scent Talk TV. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And I will see you guys in the next video of the full review of this bad boy. Take care, people. Be safe. Have a good weekend. I'm out of here. Peace.